Wednesday. Wednesday means it's time to draw. So I'm glad that you are here. And I hope you have brought with you something to draw with, a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, or a nice reed that you pulled out of a pond that you can dip in a little bit of mud or maybe some ketchup and draw all over your parents' favorite carpet. But don't tell them I said that, okay? Now, I hope you all had a good week since the last time I saw you. Today we're gonna do a holiday-themed illustration, no surprise there, and it's gonna be a fun one. So I hope you're ready for that. Uh, speaking of holidays, um, what did Mrs. Claus say to Mr. Claus when she looked out the window and saw some clouds in the sky? She said, looks like rain, dear. <laughs> okay, how about do we uh, do some uh, drawing together? All right, let's say hi to some folks in the chat. Who do we have here today? Hey, Steed and RB, nice to see you. And, uh, oh, it's Paco. What's up, Paco? And uh, we also have um, Sam and Golden. Nice to see everybody. Hope you're all enjoying your days. If you're watching from uh, YouTube, I cannot see what you're saying to me. So if you want to join the chat, please go ahead and uh, go to behance.net slash live. Um, and you can watch from there. And if you want to make some comments, just sign up for a free Behance account. Okay. Alrighty. Now, for today's drawing, you're going to have to be able to do three simple things. Same as always, a straight line. Okay, I know you can do that. Does it have to be perfectly straight? The answer, as always, is no, okay? It's a little bit wobbly. Don't beat yourself up about it. A zigzag. You can draw zigzags, right? You can go that way, they can be tiny, right? All right, you have to be able to do a curvilinear line. Look at that, could be a C curve, right? Could go this way, could go that way. All right, if you can do those three simple kinds of lines, then you can draw along with us. And today what's cool is we're gonna do a sort of a geometric stylized drawing of something that we've done these in the past and they're fun because it's a stylization of something. It's a cool style to work with, it's simple, and I think you all are gonna enjoy it. By the way, if you missed what happened in um, last uh, week's episode on Thursday, here's a recap. Always hold your pencil with a relaxed grip. Okay, exciting times. That was an exciting time. All right, now, if you're ready to begin, let's do it. Now, we're going to start with a straight line that goes a little something like that. Mm -hmm. How long is that line, Kyle? You might be saying to yourself, because I'm drawing on a screen for you to watch on your computer, your phone, your iPad, wherever you are, right? So, you know, these lengths of lines can be a little bit um, deceiving. I would say if you're drawing this on paper, draw that line about, yeah three quarters of an inch, somewhere around that size, maybe an inch, okay? I'm gonna give you plenty of room to draw the rest. Now, look at where the center of that line is. I want you to drop straight on down to about here. And see how I put a little dot there? This helps me aim, all right? Now the distance I went there is a little longer than that first line we drew. If I were to take that line and swing it on down, okay? A little further down. And now I'm just gonna connect. Okay, we're making ourselves a nice little triangle. See that? And look, my lines aren't perfectly straight. They're a little wobbly, right? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm not gonna sweat it one bit. Now I want you to take these lines, I want you to carry them up a little further. Up we go this way, okay? About the same distance as before. So here we go, up we go, like so. Now same on this side, up we go. So far, so good. Who can guess what we are drawing? I wonder if anybody's already figured it out. Now these lines here, or rather this first line that we drew, pardon me, that's gonna extend, okay, in either direction, first out to the left, about that far, then out to the right, about that far. Okay, so uno and dos. Whoops, Kyle's gonna erase that little bit right there. All right, try again, bam, about the same, there we go. Now they should be roughly the same length, okay, and that's the beginning of our drawing. It already looks like something to me, I don't know about the rest of you out there, but it looks like something to me. Now, for this diagonal line we have out here to the right, I'm gonna draw another line right here. Check it out. Out I go, bam. See that? Same length as that line, but it winds up coming out a little further because we are on a diagonal. And over here, guess what? Symmetry time. We do like our symmetry, don't we? And right up here, I'm gonna make like a little Y. This is gonna be like the letter Y. I'm coming up, and then I'm just gonna come out like that. And then on the inside, I'm going to do the same thing over this way. So like a reverse letter Y. And now I think I've probably, probably given it away, right? We know what we're drawing here, folks. We know what's going on. All right, now, are you ready for a C curve? This C curve is going to come C curve and on down, and then straight on back. Watch this. C curve and straight on back. 
Leave a little space right there. C curve and straight on back. Leave a little space. Okay. And then right here at the bottom of the triangle, I'm just gonna make a little circle like this. Kablam. Okay. And you know, in line with the bottom of these C curves we just drew, if I were to just carry them straight on through, okay, I'm gonna make a circle here, leave some space, and then on the other side, make a circle right there. And what do you know? What do you know? Got a little Rudolph going on here, right gang? Couldn't be simpler. Now right here at the bottom of this circle, check this out. I'm gonna leave a little space here, and I'm just gonna come down about that far. Just a little line. And no, he doesn't have a runny nose. That is not snot dripping out of his nose. Sorry to be gross, but hey, that's what some of you are thinking. Don't deny it. We're gonna do about a 45 degree angle here, and we're gonna come that away. Ta-da! So it's like a clock. You're looking at, you know, five, uh, five o'clock, five o'clock, right? Or it could be 12.25, right? I don't know. And then we're gonna come straight on down. Now, how long is this? Well, guess what? It's the longest line we've made in the whole drawing. Check it out, right about to there. Check out how long that is. Compare it to the other lines you have in the drawing. Compare it, okay? Good to do some comparison. And then right next to it here, okay, I'm gonna creep on up this way, leave a little bit of space, and zing, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna stop, look at that. Didn't come down as far as this one, did I? No sorry, Bob, okay? Did not come down as far as that one. Interesting, huh? Are you ready for another C curve? This is gonna be like a reverse letter J. We're gonna come down and around like so. We're gonna come down and around like so. See that? There you go. Okay. And then we're just gonna carry straight on back. How far, you might ask? Well, maybe about the same length as this line, if not, maybe a little shorter, about like that. It's a little shorter. I'd say that line is about the same length as that line. Wouldn't you, gang? All right, if you wouldn't, then that's fine. You say whatever you like. You ready for another C-curve? C-curve this on up that way. Excelente. Oh, yeah. I like that. Leave yourself a good bit of space, okay? But coming straight on down from there. Good bit of space, okay? See this? I'm gonna make a little dot for you. You can see where that is, okay? That's about the space I want for you. And there, I'm gonna come straight down again to about there. Once again, I've drawn a line that's maybe roughly the same size as that, I would say, okay? And then check this out. One, two, three. See those nice little lines? I like those. And while we're at it, why don't we do some more of those up here? Check it out. One, two, three. Hey, look at that. We made a nice little reindeer tail. Isn't that a nifty little trick? All right, now coming back to the front here, I'm gonna come up this way, just like this. Zing. All right. And then here, same thing, zing. And then, one, two, three, remember those? Remember those lines? We did those before. And I'm gonna travel on this way, but I wanna to remember to, to, to stop at a certain spot here. I don't wanna go all the way back. So I'm gonna look over, I'm gonna say, okay, how much space do I need? Give myself a little bit of a indicator for where I'm going, okay? And then come on back to there. It's always helpful. Do you like S-curves? Do you like S-curves? I do. We're gonna do an S-curve that's gonna come down and around to here. Down and around to there. See that? That's a lovely one. Okay, now look at where this foot stops. Okay, give yourself a nice little target. Okay, like that. So you have something to aim for and just come straight on down to there. And just as we did here, gently curving line up to there. Alrighty, and then right back here, I'm gonna come straight on down to the same distance as that one, see that? And straight on back. Look at that. Holy cow, that was too easy, gang. That was too easy. Now right here, I'm gonna do a really cool kind of zigzag we probably haven't done in this show before. It's gonna be a zigzag, but it's gonna have curvy lines in it. Watch this. C curve, up. C curve, up. C curve, up. And one more. Lovely. How about a little dot right there, just because. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to throw in those little dots. Now where is your reindeer? Your reindeer could be anywhere. This is your drawing. You wanna put them in some snow? You could do a little bumpy line like that. Okay, I've got some snow just hanging around there. 
Um, you know, you could put a little tree back there, put some other reindeer, put a little snow bunny in there, a little bunny. Maybe a fox is just hanging around there. Um, up to you. Do you want to color that nose red? Do you want to color the whole reindeer? Do what you want. This is your reindeer. And you should be enjoying yourself with it, right? You should make it personalized. Hey, make the antlers different. You want to make bigger antlers, different shape antlers? You can do that. You can change the facial expression. You want to make the reindeer look surprised? Check this out. You can draw some circles around it, which makes it say, oh my gosh, what's going on? Look at that. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Just lots of options for you. Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we are going to move on to the... Pardon me. On to the who made that section of the show, which is where we're going to talk about a famous artist. And I will show you a little snippet of something that they made. There it is. A little snippet of something that they made. Let me zoom in on that so you can really get a look at it. So just a little tiny piece of an illustration that this artist made. And you have to tell me in the chat, who is this person? Who made this? Who made this? Yes, everybody was so clever. They guessed it was a reindeer right away. Well done, gang. <clears throat> Rudolph has a racing stripe, says Steve. Yeah, I guess you could, I guess you could call it that. I guess you could. All right, gang, so who is this artist? If you know, go ahead and type it out in the chat. And I'll give you a couple seconds. We'll take a look there. And then we'll talk about uh, this lovely person, pretty well known. Uh, this is one of the few artists that we've talked about on this show who is uh, still alive today. So there's a clue for you. Still alive today, very active in the movie poster world. Mm -hmm. Now I'm giving you too many clues. Probably the best known movie poster artist of the 20th century. Oh boy, too many clues. He was a special guest at the Adobe Max conference for 2020. All righty, let's see, anybody got it? <laughs> Banksy, not quite. Yes, here we go. It is time to reveal the entire piece of work by none other than Drew Struzan. I know you've seen Drew Struzan's work before. All of you have, even if you didn't know you had. <clears throat> because he did work for hundreds of movie posters, many of our favorites, E.T., Back to the Future, Star Wars, the new Star Wars, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Goonies, and uh, Shawshank Redemption, and, um, oh gosh, I, I could just go on and on, Big Trouble in Little China, so many movies all done by the great Drew Struzan. The Muppet movie. Remember that amazing poster? That was also done by Mr. Drew Struzan. So here he is, Drew Struzan, California, went to art school in California, started with nothing, started from the bottom, um, really just honed his skills and had the choice between working uh, in the music industry and making um, covers for records, albums, album cover art, or jumping in it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having trouble with my voice today, gang or jumping into doing film art. So, as you can see here, uh, he obviously chose film art. He did do some album covers, quite a few actually. But then once he got into the film industry, there was no stopping him, so. Um, let's take a look at some detail here because I want you to see his technique, which is gorgeous. Pencil, so he does all the values in pencil. And then he comes over it with paint using an airbrush and very thin layers to tone it and add all the, to tint it with color. Then he comes back over it again with colored pencil. Isn't that an interesting technique? And you just see nothing like it. Now, of course, there are a lot of imitators, but Drew is the original uh, artist who worked in this amazing style. Very distinctive and um, quite the artist. So that is the who made that for today. I'm sure by now you think, oh yeah, I know I've seen his work before. So Drew is still working. He's still out there creating beautiful art. He officially retired from doing film art um, in the business, but he'll still come out and do special pieces for certain directors who requested of him, and he'll do some other little odds and ends here and there. And of course, he still paints and draws um, for himself and does his own work. And of course, he's very accomplished in all of that. So one of my heroes growing up, had the great pleasure to talk to him briefly and interview him for Max. He could not be a nicer guy. So there you go. <clears throat> Let's see, any questions? 
yes, yeah, Sam, you weren't aware that's how he worked. You can actually buy a really fascinating video of him painting the original Hellboy poster art and see him do that, that whole thing from start to finish, which is amazing. It's like a one and a half hour DVD covering, I think about, you know, 12 hours worth of work. Um, but really cool to listen to him talk about it as he's uh, doing the work. So there you go. All right, we're going to go on to the animal and activity game. Now, this is where, <clears throat> sorry gang, I should probably get some water. This is where you are going to suggest for me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, bizarre, unexpected. And I will draw it for you here on the show. And we've done lots of funny ones in the past, animals doing sports, animals reading stuff, animals playing around. Um, and so they're always creative. You all come up with really fun ideas. I'm counting on you today to come up with something fun for me to draw. And in the time that we have remaining, I will draw that for you, which is about nine minutes left. And so I'm gonna get my light blue pencil here, ready to draw my sketch. So that's all set. And now I'm gonna to look to you in the chat and see uh, what we have going on, okay? Oh, what, before that happens though, I hear an alarm. <clears throat> you know what that means, gang. That is time for appreciation station. Time for appreciation station. So, um, today we are going to be appreciating Paul, Paul, Paul Weaver. So Paul, hope you're out there, hope you're listening. Just wanted to tell you thanks so much from all that time back when we were in that dragon's cave. I don't know if you remember this. We were trying to steal a little bit of his gold, shame on us. If it weren't for your quick thinking to assemble that amazing uh, hang glider out of the bones of all those people who had been there before us and some of their robes and their capes and their clothing, we would never have been able to sail off that mountain while that dragon was trying to roast us with his flaming breath. So I really appreciate you taking care of that situation. I don't think I'd be here doing the show today if it weren't for that, so appreciate you, Paul. Now, back to our drawing. Okay, who's got some ideas for the animal and activity? Squirrel playing checkers, a goat dancing ballet. Wow, that's a good one, RB, I like that. Um, we have... Da -da 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 -da. A beaver knitting. We just drew a beaver trying to do a ch uh, start a chainsaw a couple episodes ago, but I like it. Um, all right, how about this? I, I'm really liking this uh, goat dancing ballet. That's really funny, so I'm gonna give that a go. And in fact, I don't think I've ever in my life drawn a goat before. So this will be an interesting challenge. Hmm. In my mind, I can sort of see what a goat looks like. So yeah, let's just see how this goes. All right, so we're gonna have this goat kind of This way, we got some horns there. Okay. And they've got those funny noses. Kind of remind me of like sheep's noses up in the front there. Eh, yeah, that looks pretty goatish. And then let's see, what kind of a ballet pose do I want? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I will, <clears throat> I will do this. I'm going to do a little. Uh, let me just, let me just switch out my, my brush here for a moment. Cause I want to use my nice Adobe live brush here. Yeah, that feels better. I'm picky about brushes in case you didn't know. All right, we're gonna have that sort of hoof like that. I um I updated my operating system to the latest Mac uh, OS, and let me tell you, gang, don't do it if you draw on a Wacom tablet because <clears throat> I am having the worst time keeping my my lines from sort of jumping into these straighter lines that I don't want. Some kind of glitch 
going on. So it's bad news. So if you are working on a Wacom tablet, uh, do not, I repeat, do not update. Okay, be in serious trouble. You'll not be happy with the update. So fair warning, you heard it here. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got that horn, got that horn. And that other ear is back there. And I think that looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. Why don't we get on to actually doing, I'm gonna curve that up that way, that's a little, or maybe we can do like puffy sort of style. Figure that out. Uh, here we go, let's do it. Knock that back a little bit. Come on back with a darker color. Do -do -do -do. There we go. And tablet, please be nice to me. Now, normally, if you've if you've seen these shows before, you know I'm pretty zippy here, and I'm slowing down just a bit because of. I've noticed that these these little errors in the lines I'm trying to draw um, tend to happen when I draw a fast line. So I sort of have to kind of slow down a little bit with especially the lines that I'm trying to make have some um, sort of thick to thin kind of action. They wind up just getting all straight and funny. Pretty frustrating. I might have to figure out a way to, to jump back down to the previous version of the OS. I've never done that. I've never down uh, graded. So if anybody has any advice about that, uh, sure would appreciate it since that's just not something I've ever done. Hey gang, just because I work in tech doesn't mean I know a lot about anything other than like what I do specifically, which is brush stuff, drawing and painting stuff, you know, but like OS stuff? Uh, don't talk to me about that. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Boop, boop. How's that looking? What do you think? How are we doing there? Pretty close, right? It looks kind of ballet-ish, I think. Yeah. See, look at that right there. It just happened. Like I draw there. It happened again. Draw a line. It just doesn't even show up or makes a tiny little straight, weird kind of just a dot on the page. Um, Ba, ba, ba. Um, yeah, so like here I'd normally be trying to make these lines kind of zippy, but look what happens when I do that. See that tiny little bump? Weird. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Well, I think that looks like a goat dancing ballet. I think we, we pretty much got that one working out. I'm happy with it, and I'm gonna let that one, we'll call that one done, okay? Right after I do that, there. Isn't that sweet? Okay, let's hide that sketch. Let's bring back our reindeer so we can see what we drew today. You all were hanging out for that reindeer. Thanks for the suggestion for the goat. I mean, come on, folks. How much fun is that? Now remember, tomorrow, same deal. We're gonna have the show again. And we're going to be hanging out, and I hope that you'll come along and join me. All right. And we're going to do some more drawing. Okay. And we're going to be having a nice time together, relaxing, because drawing should be relaxing. It should be a nice escape for all of you. And I hope that it is. And I want to thank you for watching the show. I want to ask you, please tell your friends to tune in as well. And let's get as big a crowd as we can to hang out and do these drawings and get some suggestions in the chat for all the fun stuff we're going to be doing and learning about. And I will see you again tomorrow. Everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other, 
And remember, above all, please, to be kind. Ciao for now.